Welcome back, you wondrous Monster Cat fans. This is Radar Dash, bringing you another tutorial for the Monster Cat Visualizer for Rain Meter by Marco Pixel. This is the version 1.5 that fully supports Spotify now, which is pretty darn awesome, and which is why I'm making another tutorial for, for this. Frick, I'm dying over here. What you'll notice that this is a uh, voiceover, so things won't be exactly on point since I'm going off of memory. First off, you're going to want to go to rainmeter.com and download the 4.0 final release. Anything beyond that should work just fine though. I'm not going to re-download it because I already have it. After you do that, you'll want to go over to the actual DeviantArt page, Monster Cat Visualizer for Rainmeter 1.5. These links will be in the description. Go on down to the download at the AdFly. If you go to the GitHub, it's just going to take you to his overall thing, and it's not going to be... You can probably find it there, but it's... Just go Just go to the AdFly. <laughs> From there, download the Monster Cat Visualizer for Rain Meter. Things will go for there. One thing I'd like to point out, and I want to make this as concise as possible. Your antivirus might be tripped when you attempt to install this skin. This is due to the fact that there is a custom editor for the plugin that allows you to change the visualizer and the colors to whatever color you want. The program will still work absolutely fine even if your antivirus trips, you just won't be able to customly edit that color. If it doesn't, you're fine. It's just a false flag, probably due to it being named Chameleon, which I believe is a type of Trojan. From there, let me just adjust this so it's not blowing up my eardrums. I'll explain these settings shortly. So, the first thing you're going to see is a little bit of information. It's going to look something like this. You're going to want to go on over to the general page. I found that the visualizer scale at 0.75 and the song information scale at 0.75. Keep in mind, my monitor is a 1080p. If yours is lower than that, such as most laptops, you will have to vary that. From there, you want the visualizer height to probably be around 300 pixels. Not too high, not too low. The progress bar is the thing down below. I personally like it on. It shows where the song is at. Select your media player. In this case, mine will be Spotify, which will allow these controls over here to work whenever you press them. And which will also give you the cover art, the album information, and the colors, if that's how you have it set up to do. Which we will go over shortly. So... Visualization. What we got going on here is smoothing level. So by default it's set to four, which personally I think is pretty darn good, so I'm gonna leave it that way. You'll notice if I set it to one, it gets really jumpy. Set it to like 15, it goes really slow. But four is a nice smooth in between. Bar width, gap, number of bars, that's all good. Sensitivity, I would recommend setting to about 35. 45 just feels like there's not really a high difference between your lows and your highs, but that's just my own preference. 35 looks good, 45 is the default. Your sound resolution is the sampling, I believe, of how it picks it. So 100's gonna make it really bad, 1000's gonna make it a little better. I like 6000, by default it's about 4000, 5000, which is still absolutely fine. It's just the variance between the lows and the highs again. So the higher that is, the more depth. I don't know why the 4095 4, didn't work there, but... You know. Next up is styling. So, you're gonna have these different colors here. You'll notice that if your antivirus did trip earlier, the thing that was removed, of course, was the editing of the like individual color. So you're only gonna be able to use the default ones. If I hit more, it just freezes the visualizer for a second, nothing more happens. So I can hit these different colors and set it manually if I want to. I personally like using the genre colors. So genre colors is only going to work for certain programs that have actual tags that Spotify doesn't support. Dynamic covers will take an accent from the actual album art. Make it... Oh frick, that looked really cool. <laughs> I just want to see that again. Dude, frick, that looks awesome. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second, give me a second. That looks freaking amazing. Anyways. Anyways, you get the idea. So, the colors like that will just take an accent color. 
Oh, let's change that. There we go. Oh. Uh, come on. You can... There you go. Let's just go with this. So, that is what the colors do. So you can set it by default or change it however you want. You can also have the, the text do that as well. Right click and hit unload skin to remove that. Next up, we're gonna go over the, ignore that. Next up, we're gonna go over how the visualizer bars react. So, right click and, oh yeah, so this part here, sorry. This part is gonna be things like, uh, yeah, turn off the colors for that and make it a little bit more obvious. Okay, ignore that. So, the Spotify, if I change the higher, it's gonna make the actual sound that I hear higher, but it's gonna make the visualizer go off. So move the visualizer sound up and down, and that'll change that. Of course, you might wanna have it like halfway, and then have it respond a little bit more, so you can move that back up. So it's kind of a pick and choose type deal. If you put them both all the way up, you're not gonna be able to really tell anything. So I found a happy middle is pretty good. That was in the right click the sound and then the volume levels. Now if you right click the visualizer, you can actually unload the skins individually. To bring them back, you'll want to right click down here, go to skins, monster cat vi dash visualizer. Then the song information, the left will give us that. You can right click on the visualizer itself. And that will allow you to change that kind of stuff there. You can bring back each little bit of information. Every day is a new dream. But yeah, much other than beyond that, once again, these were the settings that I used. The, oh, that's, oh, that's not the, that, just ignore that. Uh, there we go. All right. So that is the Monster Cat Visualizer, essentially. If you do have any questions whatsoever, feel absolutely free to ask in the comments. I think it's been about a year, or maybe two years since I uploaded the last one, and we just hit 100,000 views, so I figured that I'd update it, especially since it's supporting Spotify now, which has been a... A lot of people have been asking for that feature, and it's absolutely amazing that you did that for us. Thank you so much for stopping by again. As I mentioned, I'm here to help you guys out. I'll do whatever I can to help figure things out. There's still the older variant, which is... You, some of you probably got redirected to here from there, but, you know, we'll take care of things from there. If you have any questions, though, feel absolutely free to ask in the comments. This is Radar, signing off.